All right, today I'm going to be showing you a dashboard solution system I created for like stock levels and things like that. I was using this up until about three months ago. It was pretty developed. I had some features I still want to add, but uh, I haven't used it in like <laughs> three months now. So bear with me in case I forget some things. But So this screen here is the dashboard I created for the touch screens that I had mounted on the wall. I only had one of them, but I had two. Uh, they were Dell Inspiron 20 Model 3048. And they were cool because you could just touch it and it supported like whatever you needed. And they're pretty big. They're like a 20 inch screen or something. So I had no problems there. It allows you to do stock levels, recipes, and music. So music just like controls the indoor Spotify. Um, none of it's hooked up anymore, unfortunately. But I can go through it and test it. All right. Up next, I have the recipes page. And all this does is pull up like our training website. Uh, and it's it was cool because you could like pull up a recipe on our seasonal menu rather than training all of the different employees how to make everything like we have a lot of employees um, a lot of high school students so it was easy just to like give them like a hey this is how it should be made and, and they did pretty well with it without like one-on-one -on -one training so I could just click like a link and it pulls up what it should look like and how it should be made um, step by step I have photos for pretty much all of them because I wanted them to see, hey, this doesn't look right. Like, how could they improve? Like, this, like, it was a example photo. Up next, also, I have stock levels. This is, like, where we really get into depth, uh, node red and everything. Um, this page was cool because I had a quick supply up here, and, like, it allows you to quickly add and remove things. Um, so you would scan, like, you'd click this box here. You had to click it, and then you'd take the barcode scanner, and you'd scan something. Um, I don't think it'll let me, no, it didn't work, um, but it has feedback, so, but it has feedback, so if the, if the code was wrong, like the barcode, it would tell me here in the feedback section, or if it was right, it would say, like, removed one carton of almond milk, or added one carton of almond milk, and what was cool is if it was, uh, invalid, it would shoot, um, a notification off to my phone, so I could see, hey, something's not right, and I can investigate it, because a lot of times they won't tell me something. Like, they'll scan something, and they'll be like, oh, I don't know, it didn't work, and then not say anything. So it'd be a visual cue for me to be like, hey, like, they should be telling me something, um, or look into what happened. Uh, I have everything in here. Like, I'll start off at the milks. Um, I have all of them in here uh, with photos of them so that way it's like a visual reference you could be like oh oat milk right here add or remove one and it says how many are unopened I kept inventory of the stuff that wasn't opened already I just only cared really about what was unopened and in the fridge and stuff we have multiple fridges and not always room in one dedicated fridge so sometimes things would be all over the place especially when it came to syrups so sauces and this is like the thicker syrup stuff I had those in here so syrups had multiple pages here um, and I organized them by ones that we'd use the most. So lavender, vanilla, caramel, and stuff like that. And then as you get farther in the pages, it's more seasonal and stuff. But all of these photos are um, off of like a website. And I just like took them and put them in Home Assistant. But I have that done for all the items. So you can see cups, lids. I never wanted to run out of things. So I have coffee bags. So I would see like when we need to order more. Now I also had... Um, an iPad view, uh, like a mobile iPad, it was just an older one, uh, and I, I just had it plugged in on the counter, but it was technically portable, it had a battery, and you could bring it around, but not many people did that, so I, I put this battery notification up here, um, and it would also alert my phone, I believe it alerted someone else's, like the owner's phone also, uh, but his app was weird, he had a Samsung, so nothing like worked right compared to my iPhone. <laughs> So, uh, but it would alert me, um, and it would tell me, hey, something's not right. Like, text the person, make sure they plug it in. But it basically is the same thing. It has a little more expanded view because it was meant to be portable. Like, they can inventory stuff remotely. But, it again, it has stock levels and recipes, except this one doesn't have a barcode scanner because there was no barcode scanner. Um, but it allows music controls also. But uh, I have uh, to-do lists. I'll get there shortly. Uh, temperatures, I started doing the temperatures in all of our fridges, so you could view them remotely, and I uh, never finished that project. 
but I did deliveries. I never finished them either, but as like vendors deliver stuff or we pick them up, like I wanted people to inventory it, be like, oh, we got three bags of coffee. And I could look and be like, yeah, I ordered three. I said the regular people's orders, like all of our regulars. And when it applied, I had like the photo of the cup that they would normally use. So someone new who doesn't know everyone could be like, like, hi, what's your name? Oh, I'm Steve. And then you could be like, oh, Steve. And then like he could tell you what he wants, but if he says something wrong, you can say it or you could view it here and what he normally orders and what mug he is. It's kind of discreet. Like they don't even really notice it. Um, they just think you're like pulling up a recipe or something. Um, the to-do list, I think this is like one of like the second best features I had. The mobile version of the to-do list was great because it, it made papers like this that we would scribble out something because we no longer wanted someone to do it or we'd write something on it because there's something new. Uh, it really, it was great because it got rid of all that. Plus if someone ever lost the paper, now it's just digital and I'm like, well, just look at the iPad. You don't have to go finding the paper or where someone left the clipboard. So it made made that a lot easier. I'm going to go to closing because that's the one I did the most work on. Uh, but I have it broken down into times. Um, and you can see it throughout, like roughly like a re estimate of when they should be doing this. Like, oh, this should be done 4 p.m. roughly. I'm behind or I'm ahead. It's really easy because all you have to do is click it and it changes color when it's done. Once again, inventory, so like I always wanted like four rolls of paper, um, toilet paper in the bathroom so you could see, oh, I need to remove four and you could hit the button four times or however many you needed to stock. Coffee pots, that's another thing I did. It's in another video, uh, but it, I kept track of the right and left coffee pot um, so you could see, oh, there's, it still says there's 48 ounces. I need to clear that. But everything, like even like, hey, the front door is unlocked right now. I created an app for like counting the drawer. Never really finished it, but it allows you to add um, bills for, we had like some transition students or like special needs students. So I was trying to make it so they could count things easier. Yeah, another thing is this plug this iPad in. So at the end of the day, you're supposed to plug, make sure the iPad's plugged in um, and it would change color automatically. And then at that, the total end of everything, this giant red square would turn green if you're good to leave. So I had a mobile app on my phone and like someone else's phone, owner's phone, like one of the person who gets our milk and stuff. So this is the landing for that. Um, I'll also show you it on my phone. Um, but I had a shopping list for the owner and I, and things would automatically get added when they hit a certain uh, quantity. I had it defined in Node Red. I didn't have it set in Home Assistant. So that's one thing I would have liked to add to it. Uh, but I don't really need to now, giving my job status. <laughs> But yeah, things would automatically be entered in here and it would, and the way I could tell it was automated was it would append to the end of it, this low stock alert um, versus like this is something I would have added or this. I could see it like when he would order something or I'd order something, we'd mark it off and it would automatically get pit down here. And then when they would come in, I could clear the whole list here. So down here I have like the supply levels and this is basically a, a mobile version of the dashboard. So like we could go to the store and it'd be like, oh, we have zero skim milk. We need to order more or get more. Uh, one thing I would have liked to add is a way to be at the store and add things without it updating this total yet. And then once I arrive at the shop, maybe it automatically updates based off of location or a button push um, that it would automatically put it all in the totals. Not everyone knew how to inventory it properly or, or like you'd, you bring the milk and they're so rushed that they didn't really have time to inventory it and then like 30 minutes later they've opened two things and it just gets all messed up. But what was great is they could update it themselves on that touch screen. You could also just add and remove. I had a screen for that. This is formatted for desktop but on a phone it looks uh, way different and better. Uh, and I had settings here for alerts so I could turn them on and off. Uh, I started doing it for every item and then I stopped after like the stuff that I really cared about for the person who was shopping for us. But here in the to-do list, I have, uh, I could see like when they completed something. So if we go back to that other view of uh, to-do list, if they complete, oh, they did complete stuff. Oh, here it is. So I could see, and it allows me to see, oh, they did it five minutes ago. Or I guess I can toggle the time. It automatically updates as they click on something. So I could see it remotely and be like, hey, they haven't done this yet or or I could go in later and be like hey they really didn't do this or they did and they forgot to mark it. Again with the temperatures I have the fridge and freezers in here I never finished it I, I got the ice cream freezer working 
Uh, and that's in another video. The Wi-Fi got changed once again, so <laughs> uh, it stopped working. So I'm hoping one day I'll actually be able to buy the coffee shop and own it. Uh, I don't know when that might be, but it's something the owner and I have talked about in the past. So it, when that happens, I'll have a lot more control and ability to do um, some of these things. But one of the things I would love to implement is like a recipes feature where like I have a button here and I'm like, I want to make soup tomorrow. And I hit it, I hit the button for the soup recipe I want. And it automatically just checks all of my stock to be like, oh, you need more sugar or something or beans or whatnot. You're not going to have enough for the recipe. Automatically put it in the shopping list here. Uh, maybe even email me the shopping list. Uh, I started setting that up. Yeah, here's an example of one of the emails that I started doing. Uh, where it, says, it has like a header and then it started doing a count. That email is uh, is like a mock of the stock level report I used to do. Uh, this was automated on a Windows computer and Windows kept updating or Square kept updating and it kept breaking. Uh, so I, I basically ditched it and I started moving away from it. It has all the data from Square in here, uh, which I would automatically download and then Square changed their website so now it doesn't automatically download and it's real annoying. Uh, but you can see in here, uh, it has a last updated day, so when it was last updated, and uh, and shows all the reports and stuff. Showed all our muffins and everything. This I kept doing, like this for all the bakery items, but overall on the, the milks and stuff, I started moving away. And I actually wanted to pull these out of here and start putting them in Home Assistant to view remotely and maybe update every hour or few. Uh, so that way I can see it remotely also. 